Hi everyone, in this quick demo, I'll show you the new Edit Data experience in the MSQL extension for Visual Studio Code, now available in public preview. This feature lets you browse and update table data through a clean interface without having to write any T-SQL DML statements. To get started, make sure you're running version 1.37 or later of the MSQL extension. Then go to Settings, then search for MSQL Enable Experimental Feature and check the box. This feature toggle is temporary and will be removed once edit data becomes generally available. Once the feature toggle is on, switch back to the MSQL extension and in the Object Explorer, right-click any table and select Edit Data. You can also simply double-click the table. After it loads, you'll see a clean grid-style view of your table data. You can easily browse large tables using pagination controls, including setting the total number of rows to fetch and how many rows to display per page. You can navigate between pages and resize columns as well, making the experience feel fast and familiar just like a spreadsheet. Editing values is simple as well. Just double-click a cell and start typing. You can also add or delete rows without writing insert or delete statements. The editor validates your changes as you work, checking the data types, nullability, and key constraints, and provides immediate feedback if something isn't allowed. You can even revert individual cells or entire rows back to their previous state. One of the standout capability is the generated SQL script. As you edit, the extension automatically builds the insert, update, and or delete statements for you. You can review and confirm the script before applying the changes to your database. When you're ready, just click Save Changes. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you give the Edit Data feature a try in public preview. We're actively adding new capabilities like advanced filtering, sorting, refined interactions, and improved performance. Your feedback is incredibly valuable at this stage and directly influences what we build next. Please share your thoughts in our GitHub repo. Every bit of feedback helps.